Hello everyone, as always, I am Peter, and this is The Police. So, last episode we lost, like, four cops. They all were killed in action. I, I just, I, I cannot believe it. I'm beside myself on how bad that was of a day. All on different calls, too. You know, it was just like, just a shit show, and it sucks. But, and, and what sucks more is none of that is in the papers on front page news that we lost four cops yesterday. So, uh, here, th this, this is front page news, apparently. All City Hall employees awarded company cars for personal use. Small drug dealers invade Freeburg. Okay, that's that's fine. That's not really front page news, but okay. But we're going to keep an eye on that. Freeburg to host semifinals for Youth Hockey League. Really? This is the news when we lost four cops? This is what's wrong with this goddamn world. All right, now let's go to work and see what kind of trouble we can get into with this next shift. I, hopefully we don't lose any more cops, but that was like, damn. Uh, there's a big sale going on today, and I don't want to miss it. Can I? No, 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 no. Um, because of what happened, I can't afford to lose anyone, especially like that. All right, good. No one else is trying to get off. Um, I think we're good, so let's get out there, see what's going on. Um, I don't know, what can I play that's gonna be like... You know what, no music today. This is a, this is a, um, a, a moment of silence for, for our people. Yeah, we're gonna, that's the wrong button. Yeah, this is gonna be no music today, because of our fallen officers, we're gonna have a, a, a moment of silence without, you know, except for my commentary, but... All right, please be advised. Yay, yeah, yay, yeah, we're on. I know you're unhappy. Fuck you. You know what? You lost cops. Whoa, 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 whoa. You lost one job slot removing an occupation. Oh my god. I lost four cops. How can I lose a slot too? Seriously? Oh my god. Well, <sighs> can't lose anyone from B shift. That's for damn sure. You know what? Yes, we can. Detective. I'm not losing any more patrol cops. Well, we can hire more cops now, so let's do... we got to hire four... Uh, what is it? B-Shift? Yeah, B-Shift needs some three cops. Th needs three cops. All right, here we go. Tommy Everts. He's got some experience. Let's hire... Wait, which shift was it again? God damn it. I don't want to hire the wrong shift. B-Shift. Okay. We're getting you for B-Shift. Uh, Kazumi. Is it Kazumi? Ka Kazi... Kaz yeah, Kazumi. We're going Kazumi. Um... Kazumi's got some experience. Let's get him in there for B shift. And let's get uh, Goodwin as well. That way, you know, we cover ourselves. We have 15 cops on duty now, split across the board. Arson report. Investigation failed. All detectives are dead or fired. Yep, that's what happened. Request results. Job offer slot. So you all cannot meet requests of time. But yeah, no, because you took it away. All right, shift is starting. What do we got going on? Trespassing. Uh, Bill Buckler reports that two unidentified men snuck onto his farm and set fire to the barn. Uh, as the call came in, the two criminals were attempting to gain entry to the house. Jeez. All right. Um, I would have tried to subdue the guy first before he could call the cops. But all right. Let's send uh, Robbins, Van Dahl, and Samadhi. Get your asses out there. Don't die. And oh, my God. We'll see what happens. It's a little eerie without the music. I, I, I feel like that's also just going to be a bad omen now. You know what? No, we need the... All right, moment of silence is done. That's not what I wanted. We're, we're, we're going to get some music going because I want to have some bouncy-ass music going on. Maybe that'll help our day today and hopefully prevent bad things from happening. So let's put on something good. I think this is bouncy, isn't it? Well, we'll find out. Actually, it's just very classical. Okay, whatever. All right, so... This should lift our moods. I think this will help, I hope. So let's find out what happens. It's our first call. We, okay. There's no sign of the criminals near the house. The front door has been broken down, and a shadow lurks inside. Uh, I don't want to shoot the guy because it might not be who we... It might be the the, uh, <laughs> the, the farm owner. Um, let's go in the back door. Oh, we got him. Oh, officer's unharmed. Thank God. I, I Now I get, like, anxiety before this comes up. All right. Good. We're good with that one. What do we got here? At the mall, we got a theft going on. Uh, drug addict attempted to hide an expensive bottle of liquor under his jacket. When he was caught, he began to throw a fit. Well, you know what? Grant, Birch, go take care of that call. We're going to be more careful with who we send on calls, depending on their severity, and also we might start ignoring some calls if, you know, not major ones, but just to keep some of our cops available for when the major ones do come out. You know, like maybe this one I could have probably ignored. It was just a bottle of liquor, like whatever. We could have ignored that one if you... 
you know, if he got away or he threw a tantrum and, like, damaged some shit, you know what, that's all it is. But, all right, Chris was saying, Jack, one of our new guys tried to rape our accountant. Really? We locked him up in a hotel room, but he's threatening uh, to hand the whole organization over to the police. I think it's time he talks to the police officer face to face. This sounds like it's going to be a hit. This sounds like it's going to be a hit. We're going we're to have to kill somebody, aren't we? All right. Uh, Robbins, go take care of this one. I'm trusting you with this one. Yikes. All right. Theft report. What do we got going on? Officer. Okay. Fender escaped. No one was hurt. Thank God. I, if that's all it was, that's fine. I could have ignored that and kept the experience on those officers, but whatever. You know, it is what it is. Um, they're coming back. And we have no calls going on except for Robbins now. All right, Christopher Sand. Jack, we have something going on at the city center at 1839. What? What's with the weird times you guys do shit? What kind of mob are you? We wouldn't want any policemen crashing the party. $1,000 is reward. I'm going to see what that is. Because, you know, if it's only 1000 bucks, that's not really much. You're not paying me enough to ignore a, a crime, depending on what it is. So let's find out when that comes up at the city center, I think is what it said. Oh, it's going to rain, I think. Uh, parking lot. Assault with a deadly weapon. A woman reports that she saw a skinhead attacking a dark-skinned valet, uh, striking him around the leg, yelling, I'll beat you till you're dead, freak. No shit, I'm going to do it. She believes she saw a pistol sticking out of the skinhead's belt. All right. Curbside, you're in charge of this one. Van Dahl, head out there. Smith, you're also going to respond. I think she, yeah, she's the new one. All right. Code three to that one. Don't get killed. Oh, God. I'm just, like, stressed out about my cops dying. Now, Robbins is back on is back in again. I don't know what he did for Sand. Maybe he'll tell me. Maybe he won't. I'll just have to, you know, guess what he did. I don't know. You know, nighttime's coming up. All right, 18-something. And that was the thing at the city center. I want to see what that is because, uh, yeah, okay, hang on. A solo daily weapon. It's actually more severe than we thought. So, uh, Robbins, get your ass out there. Samadhi, give him a hand. Uh, I can't send any SWAT or anything, right? Okay. So, you guys head on out there. Oh, but now, I, now I'm going to ignore the city center thing. A man with an expensive suit is lying in the street. He seems to be have been shot, but no one saw who shot him or from where. The man is still alive and the ambulance is on the way. Um, so I'm sending people out because I am not ignoring that one because you're only paying me a thousand bucks to ignore a murder. That's not enough money. Now, remember, I'm playing corrupt cops. These are not my actual views, but you know what? That's not enough money for, for that kind of bullshit. So they're going to get out there and, um, you know, assist with that. We got backup heading to that assault call. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully no one gets killed. All right. Uh, attempted murder at the city center. The man is just being placed on a stretcher. When another shot rings out, this time the shooter finishes the job. Wow. Uh, his firing position could not be determined, but the shots are clearly coming from a skyscraper. So it's a sniper. All right. Um, carefully observe the area. Rush the skyscraper to the right. Rush the skyscraper to the right. Uh, let's observe the area and hope we don't get shot. Okay. Well, he escaped, and civilian was obviously killed. That was the gentleman. Our officers were unharmed, though, so that's all right. But they lost experience, too, which sucks. All right. Assault, deadly weapon, call. Officers fine. Fender was caught. Civilians unharmed. That's good. They all gained experience. It's great. Christopher Sands disappointed. Jack, uh, we don't know why you did it, but we hope you have a good reason. Don't forget who your friends are. We don't want any trouble. Well, dude, you you actually successfully killed the guy you wanted, despite the fact I sent cops out there. All right, we got attempted robbery in the suburbs. Uh, Eight-year-old Kevin is at home alone, hiding under the bed. Unknown persons are gathering outside of the apartment. I've gathered outside the apartment. Um... I don't have any available cops right now. Uh, oh, because... Okay, I need them... Okay, we're going to have some in a minute, so are we good? Who do we got, who do we got coming back? i got to send some more important people than, than Grant and Birch out there. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Come on, get back in. Good, all right. Um, uh, Vandal and Samadhi, go out there. Take care of that. I mean, the kid could just be seeing people hanging out on the street, and they're not going to try to break in, or they could be trying to break in. All right. Uh, report of stolen property. Uh, Detective Beasley. Oh, you have three new friends. This is from... Okay. So this is our, our, our gang investigation here. So we got three new... F Ooh. Interesting. So now we can do this differently. So let's see here. What do we got? We have... Um, is he breaking into a door? Okay. Taking something out or putting something in there. And walking up to the bar while it's occupied as opposed to not occupied. What the hell? All right. 
Ning He is a faithful assistant to Jin Yang, uh, Jin Yang, a founder of the gang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. most serious Rob's necklace, a valuable prize at home, um, and arranges them for sale. He then brings them to the Wise Dragon restaurant on the day before he's planning to make the deal. The gang, uh, oh, the gang must have an immediate buyer for the necklace, so he brought it to the restaurant the same night as it was stolen. Okay, so I see what's going on here. So that means we're probably going to put... He didn't put it in the safe because they would keep it in the safe at the bar, which means he did this. No, I'm sorry, he did this. He didn't pick a lock then. I don't understand. What? There's got to be more to this. Okay, so restaurant. Usually the restaurant is open around the clock, but... This time it was closed. Oh, so he used the key to get in. Or is that a lock pick? It looks like a lock pick to me. Shit. All right. Door. He has a key to the restaurant. Bingo. All right. There's that. There's that. Okay. Uh, and then repository. The values are kept in the safe under the bar. I don't know if he put it in the safe. No, he must have. So he went here. He put it. Okay. He arrived on the motorcycle with the goods. Open the door with the key. There were people there because the, they had the sale going on. Right? Is that it? Um, I think that's right. It could be that it was empty and the people hadn't shown up yet, but I think it's this. And he put it in the safe and it walked out. I think we got this. I think we got this. Pretty sure. All right. So going out to the suburbs here, just driving through everyone's backyards to get to the other street. What the fuck was that? Okay. So let's see what happens when they... Alright, so... The situation is more serious than we requested reinforce. Well, it's almost the end of the damn day. So Robbins, Smith, and Grant. You better not screw this up. Oh, it's actually just Robbins and Grant. Alright, backup's on the way. Responding code 3 out to that. See the other units that are code 6. We'll see what happens. We don't have any other calls coming in by the looks of it. Which is a good thing. Still got Curbside over here. Who is, uh... Oh, excuse me. I've been recording for a long time. I'm just tired now. It's only like 11 o'clock in the morning here. Uh, all right. Got a report and I attempted robbery. Please don't let anyone be dead. Okay, good. Oh, all good. Well, apparently there was something going on. It was an actual attempt at a robbery. So there you go. All right. So that's working out fine. Um, we'll see what happens. Oh, that's the end of the day, actually. So we can actually go to the end here. So let's see what happened here. All right. So. Uh, all's good. Uh, B-Shift... Yeah, B-Shift looks like it's gonna be alright. We got enough cops, I think. Price is, you know, supposedly coming in tomorrow. If she calls in sick tomorrow, that's gonna scare the shit out of me, and I am quitting this game. Alright. Um, do we want anyone to work tomorrow? Um, Birch, uh, I need you to pick up your experience, man. We really need to make this happen. Alright, that's gonna be that. So we're gonna end this here. Thank you guys for watching and see you on day 11 or 12, whatever the hell this is. Oh wait, there's a cutscene. Never mind. Oh, that doesn't look good. You alright there, Chief? In my new role as corrupt official, I had to give up some of my favorite habits. I couldn't turn off my phone when my head ached. Couldn't sleep till noon on Saturday and let the rest of HQ take up the slack. No more days off to go fishing. But my weekly visit to the old colony club was more like tradition. One night a week, I absorbed cigar smoke, the vague smell of alcohol, the stench of urine, all mixed with toxic levels of old drunken belches. Yeah. Same picture it was 30 years ago. Tradition's got to be honored. And to stay faithful to the tradition, you've got to respect the standard rituals. When you're about to roll out of the club, you need to take a deep breath and count to a hundred. If your stomach doesn't do a backflip, you should be good to make it home. This time I only got up to sixty. I was interrupted. Why? You look even better than you do on TV. Oh, that said Viagra. Fargo. There's nothing more impolite than approaching people in the alley at the old colony. This is the most private place in the city. All who enter here dirty their shoes with the most elite stream of vomit in Freeburg. This asphalt has been blessed by judges, lawyers, artists, businessmen, and all our politicians. Takes a lot of balls to crash the party. My head was a drunken haze, but I knew who he was. A cartoon gangster suit straight out of Dick Tracy. <laughs> Fancy voice, fruit cologne, 
sassy strut? That's how the newspapers described Vikis Varga, Vikis rising Varga. star in Freeburg's criminal underworld. He appeared out of nowhere, and with the support of the local punks, Varga broke all the old rules of organized crime. He killed those who could not be killed, traded what could not be traded, and robbed those who could not be robbed. In just a single month, this man had gathered an incredible amount of power. He's been called everything from a clown to a madman to a criminal genius, and more often than not, he's called a low-class upstart short on ideas. But if Vargas was one of the old crime bosses, he'd have been cut into pieces and fed to the river. Look past this guy's arrogance and there's something about him. The city is still deciding what to do with him. Meanwhile, he's burning down the houses of old city mobsters. Not the best time to talk, Mr. Varga. Well, you know my name. I'm flattered. Although not very surprised, to be honest. I might be a little short on manners. Like they say in your fair city, with the right manners, you can go anywhere. Well, I don't want to go anywhere. I want to stay right here. Even the criminal world needs manners, Mr. Varga. And one of them is this. Don't interfere with a drunken cop who's trying to take a shit and puke at the same time. Oh, oh God! you exaggerate. An but alley? is Freeburg always so gentle with its officers? You've been a bit roughed up lately. I see you already know Freeburg quite well, Mr. Varga. Well, I love to learn and look around. But I do know that the inhabitants of this fair city should be friends, Jack. Maybe it's true I don't have the best manners. After all, it's only polite for friends to share their phone numbers. This city of yours moves so fast. I feel like I'm hooked on amphetamines all over again. You wake up in the morning full of ideas, and by nightfall, You've all had each other killed, so don't wait too long to call. I don't mind if you're drunk. It's all the more fun. I'll be stoned myself, most likely. Hell, I'm a little stoned right now. It's the only way to live in this place. I like your city, Jack. I'm here to stay. Man, things just keep getting darker and darker. If it phone number written on my arm, I probably wouldn't have remembered the conversation in the morning. But there was no reason to worry. I'd be getting a reminder soon. Damn it. Alright, well thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for number 12, day 12. And let's see what happens. Hey, we didn't lose any cops this time. That's a good thing. See you guys later.